Come to commonalities, and you can use the same strategy to counter the media when they say Muslims are terrorists, Islam is the religion of terrorism. I'll have to give you an example. After 9-11, in the year 2003, when I went to USA, I landed in Los Angeles. And being a guy, I am prepared that they'll be questioning. When I landed in the Los Angeles airport in 2003, I knew I'm a soft target. Cap, beard, coat, tie, looking like a joker. I'm a soft target, I know that. This helps me to dawa. Moment they see me, okay, go for questioning. So the immigration officer asked me, that why have you come here? I said, to receive an award. He asked me, which award? What do you do? I said, I spread truth. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, speak the truth and truth shall free you. So my job is to speak the truth and spread the truth. I'm a die. So he asked me, that are you a Wahhabi? So I told him, you know, Wahhab is the attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran. I'm Abdul Wahhab. I'm a servant of Allah. No, no, what are you? Are you Shia Sunni? I told him, there's no Shia Sunni in the Quran. I'm a Muslim. I told him, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Anam, chapter 6, verse 159, anyone who makes sex in the name of Islam, O oh, Prophet, you have nothing to do with them. Islam does not encourage making sex. All these great Ayyamas, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi, they were great scholars. They came to give us guidance, not to divide the Muslims, to get them together. <laughs> then I was sent to the customs and I'm prepared. When they opened my bag, they found a DVD of mine, Terrorism and Jihad. You know, and on that DVD cover, there was a gun, a photograph of a gun. So the custom office asked me, that, do you believe in jihad? I said, yes. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, believed in jihad. He said, you should strive and struggle. Even I believe in jihad, I strive and struggle. He said, no, 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 no. What I mean, that do you believe in killing? I said that Jesus Christ said, take the sword and fight in the Gospel of Luke. The Bible talks about killing in the book of Exodus. Chapter number 22, verse number 18 to 20, that you should kill. The killing and fighting is also prescribed in the Bible in the book of Exodus. Chapter number 32, verse number 27 and 28. It's also mentioned in the book of Numbers. Chapter number 31, verse number 1 to 18. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 19, verse number 27. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, chapter number 22, verse number 36, take the sword and fight. The customer office asked me, sir, sir, can we ask you one more question? So I just phoned my host who was waiting outside, that don't worry, I'm just doing dawa here. <laughs> I quote their scriptures to make them understand Islam. I have done this many times, but unfortunately in the past couple of years, because of my popularity, now moment I enter, they know my name, Zakir Naik. Die. My name is already in the computer now, in advance. So nowadays I don't have that chance of doing dawa. No, now because of Fish TV. And today the Western world, because I explain Islam so well, they don't like it. If we continue, then most of the people will end up liking Islam. So that's the reason they try the level best to see to it that I'm not able to convey my message. We would so beautiful. Taught us to love and to care for each other. That is the sunnah of the chosen one. Loving for.